Zach D Films generates over 3 billion views every single month with his 3D short videos and that's because they look incredible and the storytelling keeps you hooked and makes you keep scrolling. So I got curious and did some digging. I learned that he has around 60 employees and each video costs him roughly one to three thousand dollars to make which are obviously huge numbers and not the type of resources I have at my disposal but I am a pro at AI and with how far AI has has come i couldn't help but wonder if i could create something similar myself using only ai and here's what i managed to make in less than a day they had declared him dead after a sudden cardiac arrest and his body was sent to the crematorium hours later but just as workers were about to start the furnace they heard faint knocking coming from inside the chamber you see his heart had slowed so much that the hospital machines couldn't detect it and he had slipped into a deep hypothermic coma he slowly <laughs> regained consciousness and started banging until they yanked the chamber open. He was rushed back to the hospital, and doctors admitted that if the workers had hesitated even a few more seconds, he would have been burned alive. This entire video was made using AI, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it yourself step by step, from coming up with ideas and writing the script, to generating the animations, the sound effects, and the voiceover all using AI. You will also find links to every tools I use in this video in the description below. All right, so for the idea and script generation, I pulled the titles and transcripts from 10 random Zach D Films videos and used them to create this custom GPT. This lets it generate ideas and write scripts in the same style as Zach D Films. So let's ask it to generate 10 ideas and pick one if we like any. All right, so you can see that it generated 10 ideas in the form of titles, which are also exactly like Zach D Films. And I find the fifth one here interesting, so I'm gonna tell it to continue with that. It then writes the script, which is set to 25 to 30 seconds by default, though you can make it longer if you want. The example I showed you earlier is 30 seconds. Also at this stage, you can ask it to adjust anything you don't like. Once you're happy with the script, you move on to the next phase. So let's actually do that. Now, this is where it first generates the main character's image prompt, then breaks the script into scenes. For each scene, it creates the starting image prompt, ending image prompt, final video prompt, and also a matching sound effect prompt. For maximum accuracy, each scene is generated at a time. This way, it becomes easier to manage the whole process. All right, let's start by generating our main character image. I'm using Nano Banana Pro on OpenArt, but you can use any platform you prefer. I'll set the aspect ratio to 9 by 16 for portrait mode, then I'll paste the character prompt in. For the image count, I'll set it to 2 and then click on create. Once the images are ready, I pick the one that fits our style best, then I download it because we'll use it as a reference image to generate the first frame of scene 1. Next, I head back to ChatGPT, copy the prompt for the first image, paste it into the model, attach the downloaded reference image and generate this gives us two images for the starting frame of scene one all right now that we have the starting frame i download it and return to chat gpt to grab the ending image prompt for scene one if you're wondering why we do this it's because these start and end frames actually help guide the video model later giving us much more control over what we want the final animation to look like. Now I'll go ahead and copy the image prompt for scene one. Next, I'll paste it in the prompt field. Then I'll attach the first scene image as part of the reference image. This is because our ending frame image prompt is designed to be the continuation of the first scene, making things consistent instead of generating an entirely different image from scratch. All right, this actually looks perfect. And now that we have both our images for scene one, we can move on to the next step, which is crafting a video out of them. So for this, I'll head over to the video page and select image to video and pass in both our first and end scene images. Now let's go copy the video prompt and paste it in and click generate. All right, so the video for our first scene actually looks great. Now what we're going to need is to generate the voiceover for this video and also the sound effect for this scene. And for that, we are going to use 11 Labs and it's extremely simple. So let's get into it. In 11 Labs, I'm going to head to the text to speech page and select the voice. And in my case, I already have one selected, which is the same voice I used in the example I showed earlier. For the model, make sure to select V3 as it is their cutting edge model. Now I'll go back to ChatGPT to copy the full narration of the video and paste it in and see what we get. He thought his toothache was just from biting something too hard. But over the next few days, the pain got sharper 
until he felt something crawling inside his gums. All right, this one is perfect. Next, for the sound effects, let's head to the sound effects page and paste in our 11 Labs prompt and click generate. Okay, now that we have everything we need for scene one, let's stitch them together and see what we get. All right, so now we're in Filmora. This is my preferred editing tool. Of course, you can use whatever you choose. And I also generated the second scene because I wanted to make it at least a bit longer. One scene felt too short. And when we go to open art, you can see that I did the exact same thing, followed the exact same steps as I did with scene one. And that's basically what you would have to do with the rest of the scenes as well. But here is what we have as a result. I also added music to make it more immersive. Let's actually even this one seems to start later in the video. I'll just make it start right away and click on start so we can see what we have. He thought his toothache was just from biting something too hard, but over the next few days, the pain got sharper. Let's actually watch it one more time. He thought his toothache was just from biting something too hard, but over the next few days, the pain got sharper. Until All right, so there you have it. This is what the animation looks like. The only thing I can say is that I'm super impressed and the fact that AI is just getting better and better every week makes it even more, you know, in a way scary, but also exciting. So there is a huge opportunity if you know how to seize it. And if you ask me, you should definitely seize this and not miss out. Also, I'll share all the resources I showed in this video in my free school community. There you can get access to this and many other resources I've already shared in my previous videos. I also have a premium school community where I share real-time insights as I learn them and also where I share more exclusive resources. So if you want to support me in my journey and also be part of it, you can check that one out. But having all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.